Hey guys, Brad M73 here. Welcome to Farming Simulator 17. We're going to look at the uh, vehicle store today, see uh, everything that's in there. Uh, this is version 1.2. I know it's uh, several days before the game comes out, but um, it will be launching on October 25th for everybody. Uh, well, not everybody if you got the older consoles, but PC, Mac, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4. Um, this is version 1.2, so it is the full release version with all the updates. So if you if you get like a CD version that you order in, then you'll actually have to you know run the updates, but that's not really that big of a deal. Anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. I'm just going to um, we're going to start a new map. Yeah, you guys will get to see all this. Um, I'll go through this a little bit later. Um, I just want to get into the game and show you. Uh, the farm shop so that we can, you know, look through all the vehicles. Everybody on planet Earth is asking me about it right now. So I thought I will, um, I'll basically do that for you guys later. Um, and, and here's the, uh, I don't know, Ford slash Dodge. There seems to be like, like, two schools of thought on what type of truck this is so if you know post it in the description below um so without further ado we will get into the shop so we've got you know basically harvesters everything is on here and i'm just going to go i'm going to start off in the sales category and we're just going to go right down the line and actually if you look it, the as i scroll through these um, it's actually going to drop down, you know, tractors, front loaders, trucks, harvesters, headers, forage harvesters, and in that way. So it doesn't go across, it goes down, then it starts up at the next column. And as you can see, you know, I'm just going to kind of scroll over a little bit at a time. Got mowers, loading, you know, it just goes all the way down uh, until we get to placeables. That's the final category. So obviously there are no vehicle sales. I just started the game, uh, and we'll get right into the vehicles. We've got the Hurleyman H488, the Zeter Major 80, the Stayer Multi, the New Holland T5, the Linder Lintrack, uh, the New Holland, I love these old tractors, the New Holland 8340. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? We have the Massey Ferguson MF5600. Uh, the Zeter Proxima Power 120, the Hurleyman TM, I'm sorry, XM T4i. We've got the Zeter, Zeter for Terra HD, the Dutzfar Agrostar 6.61. Still love the old tractors. A lot of people are going to love the old Case 1445 XL. I've been playing with it. It's absolutely awesome. Uh, then we get into the Fent Vario. Um, I'd say if you're going to choose between these two, definitely go with the Fent. Um, it just has a much lower maintenance per day cost. So super awesome 9,000. Um, next up, we've got the uh, New Holland T6, the Valtra N-Series. Uh, we've got the same Fortis. Um, let's see, the Fent 700 Series. The JCB Fast Track 3000 Extra. Love the, uh, I just love that tractor. It's awesome. Uh, the Valtra T-Series. The Massey, uh, Massey Ferguson, <laughs> Massey, what? The Massey Ferguson MF7700 series. We've got the Dutes Far 7 series, the Lamborghini Mach VTR. Uh, we've got the Case, uh, uh, the, yes, Case Puma CVX, the JCB Fast Track 8000, the Stair Terrorist CVT, uh, the Case, or, I'm sorry, the New Holland T7 Heavy Duty. This has been like one of the most popular, like most uh, requested tractors I've had people asking me to play with so far. Like people are going absolutely nuts. Um, and then almost equally, but maybe not quite as much as the Case Optum CVX, also super awesome. Uh, we've got the Dutzfar 9 series. Uh, just this thing looks aggressive. It looks awesome. I really like it. Uh, the Massey Ferguson 8700 series. 
I almost like this one as much as the Dutzfar, but the Dutzfar is kind of winning me over a little bit as far as looks go. Uh, next up, we've got the New Holland T8 series, the Fent 900 series, the Valtra S series, uh, the Challenger MT700E, the Magnum CVX, the New Holland T9, the Challenger MT. 800e still going the case quad track uh, we've seen that one before we've got the challenger mt 900e uh the and then finally if you purchase this game on steam you will get two uh mods as you can see they say mod here and here but they're official mods they come with the game the challenger mt 700e field viper and the valtra T-Series Cow Edition, which I've actually seen this one in the game already. It looks beautiful. I have not seen the, uh, the Challenger Field Viper, though. So those are all... Now, oh, I should point out one other thing, because a lot of people don't seem to understand this. Depending on where you purchase your game, if you've got an Xbox One, if you've got a PlayStation 4, um, your two bonus vehicles will be... The, they could be similar, but they'll have different skins, or they'll be different vehicles. Um, same goes with if you purchase them directly through the Giants website, you'll also have um, some different uh, vehicles as well. And then as, uh, if you buy the Collector's Edition, yet again, you'll have even more different vehicles. So uh, just depends on where you buy your game from. You'll get um, some exclusives uh, for the system that you're on and, or the place that you buy from. Moving on, we've got the front loader category that's got the Kramer KL308, or I'm sorry, the 30.8T. Uh, I'm not going to really go through much of the equipment. You can kind of see that for yourself. But um, oddly, this is the only quote unquote front loader. Um, not really sure why uh, there aren't some other uh, things classified as front loaders, but there's not. Um, next up, we've got trucks. We've got the Lizard XX. I'm sorry, SX, <laughs> SX 210 Twin Star, the Phoenix 6x6, uh, which if you had Gold Edition last year, uh, you'll be familiar with that. We've got the, the Man TGS 18 480 and the Lizard TX 415 Barrel Core. And you, uh, those are pretty much Peterbilt's, or well, this one is. I'm not sure exactly what this other one is. Um, next up, harvesters. Everybody wants to know what kind of harvesters. Um, again, if you had gold edition last year, you got the Comia C6 from Sampo Rosenlu. Uh, this time, the starting tractor is the Case IH uh, 1660 Axial Flow. You've got the New Holland TC590 coming back again from uh, last year. Uh, the Massey Ferguson MF Activa 7347S, the Rostelmosh Acros 595, the Case Axial Flow 7130, the Rostelmosh Torum 760. Uh, we've got the Case Axial Flow 9230, the Massey Ferguson MF Delta 9380, and the New Holland CR 1090, which is the beast of the bunch. Um, I don't think anything comes close to this as far as carrying capacity. This one's at 14,500. Um, and I think they pretty much go, yeah, they pretty much go down from there. So the case, uh, is still king of the hill. Um, we've got all of the headers and I'm just going to kind of slowly just one at a time, uh, move through these. If you want to pause and look at them by all means, but they're just headers, uh, forage harvesters, we've got the Rostelmosh RSM-1403, the Krona Big X 580, uh, and the New Holland uh, FR850. And one of the things I wasn't expecting, the FR850 is a much, power, much more powerful version um, than the Krona uh, Big X 580. I was kind of thinking that the New Holland was the weaker one, but apparently... That is not the case. So a lot of people will be using that one. Uh, we also have the headers for the forage harvesters, and I'll just kind of slowly run through those so you can see what those are all about. Oh, I will point out um, the last header here, the uh, New Holland 130 FB. This one is the one that you're going to use for the young poplars and uh, chipping those trees. So uh, if you're wondering why this one looks so much different, that's, uh, that is why.
Uh, next up, we have uh, the potato harvesters from Grimma. So we've got the you know the old school style, and then you've got the Tektron, which if you've been around since Farming Simulator 13, you will definitely be familiar with these. Um, beet harvesting. Uh, now, one thing that really surprised me is they don't have the the um, the Grimma sugar beet harvester in here. We just have the Homer Exact. We also uh, just have the Terraphilus 2 Eco, uh, which is more of a picker-upper. It's not a harvester, but um, the Teradas T440, if you had the, uh, the Homer DLC from earlier this year, then you will be very familiar with uh with with that one but i was really surprised to see the grimma trailer or i'm sorry the grimma harvester not make an appearance this year so i don't know maybe we'll get it as a dlc or something um next up we've got all of our trailers whoops i when I, I won't get into a whole lot of detail but um i will just hello i will just kind of cycle and click through these as i go and if you guys want to hello wait where are we at yeah there we go if you guys want to see the stats, you can pause the video after I click. Um, and, you know, the click would correspond with the green there. Um, I love this Drakkar 86. I just like the color. I don't know why. It's kind of weird. Legal, the... <laughs> uh, the Krona, uh, the Krampa, whoops, Krona, 56,000 liters. The Krampa, 59,000. That's the biggest... Biggest one there. We've got the two overloader uh, tippers there. Well, they're not really tippers. We've got uh, five different, five or six different plows. We've got the uh, two meter. No, no, I don't want to buy it. Uh, two meters, two meters, three meters, 4.9 meters, and 6.2 meters. So, yeah, I guess that's the biggest plow. That's not, a whole, I guess, well, 6.2 meters. That's pretty freaking wide, I guess. Um, next up, we have the cultivators. So again, three meters, three meters, four meters, four point eight meters. Ooh, we finally we've got the uh, Amazon Catros um, cultivator. I have always liked that one. Vogelnut, Vaderstadt, Darth Vaderstadt. Uh, you've got the the uh, Horsch, ten point two meters. The Lemkin uh, Gigant, ten at 12 meters and then the knockerling all-rounder at 14.5 so this one apparently really spreads out i thought the lemkin was super wide i cannot wait to see the cokerling um completely spread out uh sewing machines we've got the convernland accord dl the amazon ed3000c uh, 3, um let's see and as you as you kind of go through these you'll see that uh, each one can do you know some different crops like this one will do uh sunflower seeds uh soybeans corn and sugar beets um sometimes there's some overlap like this one doesn't do corn and sugar beets but it does do uh soybeans for whatever reason grass um you know so there's just some differences in the different um, cedars that you purchase, uh, and you might want to, you know, well, you will want to pay attention to that. I've got the Grimma potato cedar. Uh, moving on, I wonder if I didn't, I don't remember seeing the larger. Oh wait, maybe this is it. The GL8. Okay, so there's the Rapid A600. I don't want to use that again. I used that to death last season. Um, the GL860 uh, compacta. Yes, here's the wider. A potato uh, planter at six meters. That's pretty good width. Uh, the Vader Stott Tempo, uh, the Horse Pronto. Oh, I'm so glad to see the Horse Pronto nine back. Oh, the Horse Maestro, um, the Lemkin Solitaire at a uh, 12 meter width, and then topping it all out is the Condor 15,001 at 15 meters. I'm so glad to see some wide com, or I'm sorry, some wide cedars. Uh, head back into the game uh, this this year. Um, the Amazon FT1001 and UF1201, uh, these are kind of a combination sprayer system. You can either buy the actual sprayer, and then um, I don't think you need the um, extra tank to use this. However, um, if you buy this, this is just an extra tank that goes with this, and you'll have more spraying capacity. 
Uh, you also have the Nicholas Caruel, still a 460. Uh, it's got a 28 meter width. Uh, sorry, this one was only 15 meters, so 20 meters, almost twice as wide. And then this one goes up to 36 meters. This is the big New Holland SP400F. That's the, the big, huge vehicle that you drive uh, with the sprayer attachments. Um, as far as the dry fertilizer spreaders, you just have the little Cavernland at uh, 12 meters, the Breedall at 24, and then the large Breedall also at 24 meters. Um, you've got some manure spreaders here. This is for the dry manure, the Superflex or Superfex 800 uh, at 8 meters, the Joskin at 15, and the Stroutman also at 15. I don't know which one. I, We'll, we'll have to see down the road once we start getting tons of manure rolling in. Um, then the slurry tanks, you got the Garant Kotke. Um, this one is 9 meters. And then you go up to the Joskin at 12 meters. The Zoom Hammer is, actually requires both of these pieces here. Um, not very wide, though. It's only 6.2 meters. Um, then you get to the Van Hues or Van Hues. Van Hues. I, I have, literally have no idea how to pronounce this. I've been asking people and nobody has filled me in yet, but this, this is like the super monster, super wide. Um, tra I mean, look at it. It's 30 meters. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, then you just have like a field container. This is for storing slurry, like out on a, like next to a field. So you don't have to go all the way back to, uh, you know, the, the, biogas plant every time in order to get more slurry um, and then this one again is just another liquid transport tank like you could leave this out on a field and then drive back and forth um, with this big uh, tank to fill this up to fill up your slurry tank so kind of a cool idea there um, you've also got some weeders the weeders pull out weeds between small growing crops improving the, the the field states it can only be used in the first growing stages of crops so uh, you've got these two from Einbach. I haven't given them a try yet, um, so I'm not really sure um, what this does. And then I think this this has a little tank on it, so I don't know if it also has like some additional fertilizer or what. But yeah, it's there. It's got it does this. It, apparently, maybe this plants does this plant uh, grass and uh, radishes. Because those are that's the radish cover crop. Maybe this maybe this plants and seeds those cover crops. Anyway, continuing on mowers, we've got the Novacat 302 ED, the uh, New Holland Discbine 313. I have not seen this in the game yet, so I have. I think it's just like another you know side mower. Um, you've got the Novacat. I'm sorry, the Pottinger Novacat 301 ED. You got the 302ED and the 301ED. They kind of go together. Or you could even go with the Novacat X8ED. And then the uh, the 301 would be on the front. And then you get the, the Lely Splendimo 320 and the Splendi Splendimo 900MC, um, which are kind of the same as the Pottinger. There's not really... Um, there's a slight bit of difference in the overall width. This is 9 meters compared to 8.4. So you might get slightly better performance out of the Lely equipment. Um, next up, we've got some tedders. Um, these are just, you know, simple tedding tools. 6 meters, 12.5 meters, and 13 meters. Not too much of a difference between uh, these two. Um, wind rowers, you've got just these three, the Pottinger uh, at... Uh, 4.6 meters, the Coon at 9.3, and the Lely at 14.8. Uh, loading wagons, you've got the Euroboss 330T, the Repex 34S from Bergman, the Lely Tigo XR75D, uh, and the Stroutman Terra Vitesse CFS 5201DO. <laughs> <laughs> my lungs man that's a lot of numbers there um and they just basically all do the same thing they just have ah different uh, fill capacities uh from 21,334,000 under bailing technology we've got the flegal trailer this is just a standard bale trailer the arcusen four stack this uh, stacks up uh, three bales at a time the Ursus Auto Stacker, the Ursus uh, Round Bale Wrapper, and then the uh, New Holland Round Bale 
bailer essentially. Uh, so I think you would bail with this one and then wrap with this one, pick up with this one. I don't know why we didn't see the Ursus wrapper. Or I'm sorry, the Ursus bailer in here, but whatever. Uh, we've got the Ar uh, Arcusen FSX 63.72, uh, which is just your standard bail bail picker upper. Golly. Um, let's see. New Holland, big bailer 1290 uh, rounds that out. I was kind of thinking that we might get some Krona bailers but apparently no um chainsaws you got still husqvarna jones red and mccullough they all do the exact same thing they're all thousand bucks or well euros whatever you have your game set to under forestry equipment you've got the fsi power tech that's the stump stump grinder uh, we've had that since uh, the beginning of farming sim 15 uh new though is the dfm forestry this is basically just a log picker upper um or actually, this might be, it says with a tree saw, you can cut down trees. Yeah, I think you just cut the trees down and you use that to pick up the logs and carry them wherever they need to go. Um, the Flegel Timber Runner, so that's a you know just a big tractor trailer that you can put all your timber in. Uh, you've got the Damcon. This is a, a tree uh, planter, so once you cut your trees down and ground the stumps down, uh, you would use this to replant those trees. Uh, you've got the Heizomat. HM4300. This is a stump grinder. Um, yeah, it breaks trunks into wood chips. Very large trees cannot be processed. So apparently these are only for like smaller trees or maybe branches or something. We'll, we'll play around with it eventually and find out. Uh, the Steppa a FHL 13AK, the Gens BA725D, um, the Gens HEM58, I'm sorry, 583Z. Um, those are also chippers. And then rounding out the forestry equipment, we have the Sampo Rosenlu HR46S. This is a uh, tree chopper. Um, and, and also it's kind of for smaller trees, not very large trees. Uh, the Ponzi Buffalo and then the Ponzi Scorpion, which, you know, if you, if you played Farming Sim 15, you're familiar with those two. Under wheel loaders, we've got the Lee Bear uh, L538. Uh, the JCB 435S, I love the JCBs, uh, and then you've got the um, the different uh, equipment that goes with those. Ooh, I'm actually really, really glad to see a nice big silage fork, and I think you can use that with manure too, but um, there was a mod I think I used on Farming Sim 15 Season 1 that was this basically this thing, and I loved it. Um, telehandlers, the Lieber... Uh, T, uh, yeah, TL436-7, the MLT 840, and the JCB TM 320S, as well as the uh, different equipment that goes with those. And I love how they put all the compatible equipment together now, unlike before when you had to like buy something and figure out, oh man, it doesn't work with what I just purchased. Uh, how many times has that happened to you? Um, we've got a um, uh, the, the two skid steer loaders, uh, the JCB uh, 260 and the 325T. So this is kind of like a wheel loader in a way, but it's, it is a skid steer and then like a true track skid steer over here, as well as, you know, the equipment that goes with them. Now you can get the uh, stump grinders here or, or, or stump, stump or well tree cutters. You can actually cut down full trees with these. Um, and then there's the uh, JCB stump grinder right there. So definitely worth it if you want like a good piece of equipment to get you started in uh, in doing uh, forestry work. And very inexpensive, very affordable too. Uh, for animals, you've got the Joskin Aquatrans 7300S. That's for uh, water. Uh, you've got the Betamax RDS 7500. This transports pigs, sheep, and cattle. Uh, you've got the uh, the Primor 15,070. This the machine makes straw bales and uses them to cover uh, the ground of a cow stable with straw. Uh, you've got the Silo King. This is just a, a forage mixer wagon. Uh, you need to connect to a tractor in order to get it to run. Um, we've got the Micheletto. It's basically the same thing as the Jostin Betamax, except it's bigger. It just holds more animals. And unfortunately, they don't say like how many... Uh, they hold here, but they just don't. So next up, we 
the I'm shocked to see that the Kuhn SPV is in here. Um, we now have the Silo King Self Line Compact 1612. They probably took the 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 SPV out from Kuhn uh, just because they've had it in, for the last four years, and maybe people are getting sick of it and want something slightly different, but still the same. Who knows? Um, we've got these the two lever levelers. Um, they don't really say. This one says 6,000 liters. This one says 8,000. Um, I guess that just means like how much, how many liters it will actually move, you know, before, you know, it starts going off to the side or something. I don't know. I uh, haven't used these yet, but they're kind of just like bulldoze shovels for silage and also for leveling out uh, the silage as well. Um, next up, we've got the Lizard R5000. This is basically like if you... Um, <clears throat> if you seed over an area or, you know, accidentally delete fields, um, this will uh, uh, supposedly restore the initial ground state from the beginning of the game. So just kind of like you roll this thing over and like everything goes back to normal kind of a deal, I guess. <laughs> uh, and then you get the, uh, Thunder Creek F ST nine, uh, 990. This one is basically just a fuel trailer. Uh, it says uh, tanks transport liquid, but it just says, you know, it's got the gas on there. So I guess it doesn't do water, but if you actually look this up on Thunder Creek's website, it is an actual piece of equipment. It is just a, um, uh, fuel trailer, uh, the Flegel Dolly. That's just for the, uh, uh, the large tipper. You can, uh, use this and in conjunction with a tractor to get the, um, you know, the tractor to work with the uh, larger tippers. Uh, you also have the Flegel low loader. We've seen this previously. And then the Goldhofer low loader, which is uh, a lot, I suppose it's a lot bigger. Uh, you can get a couple tractors on here with this one. You might not be able to get as large of tractors or equipment on there. Um, the header trailers, nothing really too special here. Uh, there is the specific trailer for the Homer, uh, the HR9. Uh, and then the Krona headers, but you know, you can kind of mix and match. Sometimes they all work. Um, you've got this lizard, uh, pickup. I think it's kind of like a hybrid between an old Ford and an old Dodge or something. It, you know, it's not really specific. And then the lizard, uh, the pickup TT, supposedly this is, uh, uh, almost the same as uh current Ford, but I don't really pay attention to the big truck. So I'm not sure. Um, next up, we've got the, the front weights, the lizard, just going from, you know, the lighter ones all the way up to the heavier ones. Um, I'm actually kind of surprised they don't have the weights, though I'm guessing like the model number, like 2300, 2400, I guess that's the weight. Maybe it kind of looks like it says 2400 kg on there, but we'll find out more later. Um, these are your uh, seed and uh, fertilizer bags that you have to pick up if you want to manually load your fertilizer out on the field. So you've got um, the smaller seed bags. Uh, these are essentially lifted up with the front loader. Um, and then you've got the pallets. So they just hold more. This one's for liquid fertilizer, solid fertilizer. Uh, pig food bags, if you're going to be feeding your pigs, you buy these. You just get these in the, at the store. You also have the uh, sapling pallet as well as the poplar saplings pallet. Um, <clears throat> moving on to the belt systems, we'll eventually be taking a look at these. Um, but these are just like the different conveyor belts that you can use to load up trailers. Uh, really glad to see these uh, in the game and hopefully they work, you know, as advertised. Because you kind of have to just line them all up separately. And I think, I don't know if any of them clip together, but we'll find out eventually, guys. Um, finally, uh, well, we're coming up to finally, because I think that, yep, that's the last one. Uh, finally, placeables. We've got the Karcher HDS 918-4M. This is the sprayer. It's just this vehicle sprayer like we've had before. Uh, lizard water tower. Uh, so you can get your uh, water tanks, uh, fill your water tanks with fresh water. Uh, if you have specific places where you need water, then you need one of these. Uh, the vehicle work workshop, this allows you to um, customize vehicles from wherever you plop one of these guys down at. And as far as I know, there's no limit. You can just have these everywhere and then you know, you drive 10 feet, you know, you'd be fine. Customize your vehicle. 
Um, the Heizomat heating plant dropping wood chips at the selling station produces heat and earns you money. Um, the gens, um, let's see, any logs you put into this machine are converted into wood chips that are immediately, immediately sold to the sawmill. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'll have to figure out kind of, you know, what the currency conversion rate is and, you know, how well they sell for. Um, the small and large silo extensions, you got 50,000 liters and 100,000 liters. They're not cheap, but apparently they allow you to hold more uh, grain in your, you know, temporary storage. Uh, you've got a hay loft. This is a uh, storage space for hay and straw. Definitely, th this is totally awesome. I was not expecting to see that, and I'm really super happy that they put that in the game. Uh, we also have some uh, different vehicle shelters here. Um, you also have the large vehicle shelter. So if you guys remember back from Farming Sim 13, that guy was in the game. Uh, a lot of people missed it in 15. Um, the lizard bee house, uh, the lizard greenhouses. Uh, the solar panels, the wind farm, the you know windmill, and then just some more, uh, you know, decorative cosmetic kind of buildings that you can plop around. I don't think these don't actually have much of a function. And then you've got a couple trees to go with it, and then we're back to tractors. Well, there you have it, guys. You finally know exactly what's in the store. Uh, please, guys, subscribe for this and many more videos on Farming Simulator 17. Do not forget to hit the thumbs up uh, if you enjoyed and appreciate this video. Um, I will thank you for stopping by. If you've made it to the end, you are totally awesome. Thank you for all the support. Again, don't forget to subscribe. I am Bradham73. We'll be back with more Farming Simulator 17 soon. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.